This is a short video on types of nuclear equations that you're going to see. The three main types of radiation that we're going to deal with are alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. And we can see the alphas have a mass of 4, a charge of 2, and that's pretty much a helium nuclei. Betas have very, very little mass and a charge of negative 1. They're like an electron. And gamma rays have no mass and no charge, which means they are just purely high energy. And later on in the chapter, you'll be looking at penetrating power, and we can see that alphas have very low penetrating power, while gammas are very high. So when we look at a nuclear equation, you always want to balance the charge and the mass. So in other words, you want to balance the top numbers on each side. So on the left side, we can see this one has a mass of 222. And if we look on the right side, 218 plus 4 makes 222. We also want to balance the charge. So we can see this one has a charge of 86 on the left. So 2 plus 84 means we have a charge of 86 on the right. Now this is an example of an alpha decay because we can see that right here, this is my helium nuclei, which is my alpha. And anytime it says a decay or an emission, that means it's going to be on the right side of the equation, on the product side. If it said anything about an absorption or a capture, then it's going to be on the left. This next one is of a beta decay, and we can see that it's a beta because we have a beta particle here, our electron, over on the right side, so that's our decay. So when we look at our charges, we have 1 on this side, and negative 1 plus 2, that would add together to get 1. Now for the masses, we have 3 on the left, and 0 plus 3 makes 3 on the right side, so we can see that those balance. These are some other nuclear symbols that you'll see in addition to the alpha, the beta, the gamma. We have a proton, which is symbolized by P, so a lot of times you're going to see it as a 1, 1, P, meaning a mass of 1 and a charge of 1. That's the same thing as a hydrogen atom. We have a neutron, which is symbol as N, and a neutron has 1 for the mass, and a neutron has no charge. Electrons those are the same thing as beta particles, so you can see they're either written as E's or B for beta, same symbols. Zero, negative one, just like the betas. A positron is a positive electron. So in other words, it's an electron, but it has a positive charge. So you'll see it either with an E positive or as a beta with a positive. So still zero for the mass, but now I have a plus one for the charge. And then our alpha, beta, gamma like we had before. So, if we have a positron emission, that means the electron is emitted, so it would be on the product side. If we have an electron capture, that means that the nucleus will take in an electron, so then it will be shown on the reactant side. Okay, so here is a problem that we're going to look at. On this side, we can see that we have a mass of 179, and on this side, it's 175. So in order to get 179, I'd have to take 175 plus 4. Then I have 79 on the left, so 77 plus something would be 79, so that would be 2. And if I have a mass of 4 and a charge of 2, then that is going to be a helium atom. Or, if I don't want to call it helium, I could write that as alpha, because this whole thing means alpha. And sometimes you'll see it as an alpha with a 4, 2, but that just means the same thing as an alpha. So that means out of my choices, this is going to be an alpha particle. So that's the way that you would work on those kinds of equations, and that's a quick overview on nuclear equations.